so we'll start off with the MLA. And she says, my dearest Charlotte, I'm truly sorry that I cannot be there in person to say these words to you myself. I simply cannot say how fitting it is that the Hank Snow Society has chosen to honor you with these lasting remembrances of your incredible spirit of volunteerism. As Vina referred to you in my invitation, you are quite simply a jewel. Over the years, I have witnessed firsthand the commitment that you have shown over and over to the people and community organizations of Queens County. You have served us all selflessly and tirelessly, asking for nothing in return, and are truly an inspiration to all who have had the good fortune to work with you or to simply witness you in action. The number of people who have benefited over decades from your dedication and hard work is countless. On behalf of the people of Queens and on behalf of the province of Nova Scotia, I thank you for all that you have done to make the lives of others better. With an abundance of, of admiration, respect, and affection, your friend, Kim, the Honorable Kim Maslin, MLA, Queens. <laughs> Darlene Norman, Mayor Norman is gonna come up and, uh, and she's got some things to say to Charlotte as well. What can we say to Charlotte? As I look around this facility and remember what it once looked like, and a great number of people that brought it to the point of opening, and then Charlotte became involved in the organization, and for decades, she's worked tirelessly and endlessly for this facility, and as Kim mentioned, not only for this, but for many great things. And I believe Owen Hamlin just said to me, there's no one in Queens County who deserves more recognition than Charlotte White for her work. <laughs> and so Charlotte, we have a, um, a milestone certificate Dear Charlotte, what a pleasure it is to acknowledge your over 20 years of outstanding volunteer work on behalf of Friends of Hank Snow Society and Hometown Museum. The generous gift of your time and knowledge has helped ensure the success and growth of a wonderful tribute to Hank Snow and his legacy. Please accept this certificate on behalf of myself, Council, and the Region of Queens Municipality to commemorate this significant achievement. And Charlotte, this, this doesn't mean that you can retire. <laughs> oh my, my. <laughs> Not lost for words, you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Carol Baker also wrote to Charlotte, and she says, Charlotte, I wish I could be there to see your face when you find out that you are being honored today. I can only imagine how surprised you must be. It has been my experience that people who are generous and kind tirelessly do so much for others and rarely expect anything in return. That's because people like you, Charlotte, are special. People like you are hard to find. I am so pleased that you are being recognized for all you have done over the years. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna let it out here. Charlotte, she mentioned something that we are doing for you. This room that you're in is now gonna be called the Charlotte White Room. <laughs> The concession building, which is over there, is going to be called the Charlotte White Concession Building, and it has the, it, yeah, it's up there already. Yeah. So she says, wow, the Charlotte White Room and the Charlotte White Concession Building, they both have such a nice ring to them. Savor every moment and the kind and honest words the good folks at the Hank Snow Society will be saying about you today. Take a bow, Charlotte White, you deserve it. With great admiration for all you have done, Carol, Carol Baker, Order of Canada. So now, Charlotte, we'll ask our esteemed.
esteemed president of the hank snow society friends of hank snow society to come up and vernon oakville would you like to come up and say a few words to our buddy here sure just try to keep me quiet um well welcome everybody what a what a nice turnout not only to um, be here at the museum but to recognize this beautiful woman today for her many many years of service charlotte and i i worked with charlotte for many years on the the board for the friends of hank snow society and as uh, vina says you can always count on vina to keep you in your place she knows the the bylaws and the history of this place um like the back of her hand like nobody else and uh when we need guidance, uh, Vina, uh, sorry, Charlotte is there for us, and um, she always says, you know, according to the bylaws, we have to do whatever. <laughs> and she usually brings it up as we're ready to adjourn the meeting. <laughs> and no, seriously, um, you know, there are many words I can use to describe uh, Charlotte, but I think uh, the best word is selflessness. Um, she will go beyond, above and beyond the call of duty mm -hmm. for a cause she believes in. Not only the Hank Snow Society and this museum, uh, but the food bank and others. She's given so much. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it, it's, it's difficult to, you know, keep your composure when you're talking <laughs> about someone like this. <clears throat> Calm down. She, uh, you know, I don't think the word no is in Charlotte's vocabulary. And not only that, but she's infectious. And when you call, when she, you get a call from Charlotte to do something, you cannot say no. She, <laughs> she will not hear of it. Or, you know, if, if you say no or whatever, she'll quickly talk you into it. But seriously. This place, uh, there's so many contributions that Charlotte has made over the years. I could list them, but I would tell you it's a very, very long list. list. And, um, you know, she's threatening to kind of pull back a bit next year. But as a lifetime member of the society, I'm, I'm sure we won't let that happen too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlotte, on behalf of the society, uh, I want to congratulate you. <laughs> and, but above all, I want to thank you because um, to say that this place could not, would not be here, uh, is really it's an understatement without Charlotte. Because in fact, that is well beyond the truth. And anybody who knows Charlotte or has seen her in action, you will agree with that. Uh, and this place is very important to the community. Hank Snow is very important to the tourism industry. He has a very long history with this community, and we're trying, to, trying our darndest to keep it functioning and to bring people into our community to, to enjoy it and to celebrate the legacy that Hank Snow has left behind for all of us to celebrate. So, you know, we invite you to become involved if you already aren't. Um, just get in touch with Viner or any board member and we'd be happy to sign you up. And uh, Charlotte knows where to find you. <laughs> so thank you and uh, I'm gonna turn it back to Viner. Now Charlotte, you have a number of people who donate to our, our organization because you know them or those poor people are afraid that you know them. Um, but we have some anonymous donors who have donated big here because of Charlotte. And I mean big. And, uh, and they want to say that they are so happy that we are honoring you today. I think we have come to the point where we're going to unveil um, this for Charlotte, so I want her to come around out front here. I have to tell you something. We're really like do-it-yourselfers. If you have a look at what we did up there, you'll see we're real do-it-yourselfers. We don't like to, to spend a lot of money on stuff. Uh, but you know what? I think it'll work. I'm hoping it'll work. If not, Murray's going to be climbing up there and taking it down. So Charlotte, come on out front here, and we'll get... Uh, 
We'll get uh, you to pull that string and hope that it works. <laughs> it's a makeshift thing. We need you to just pull it. And if you can't pull it, Murray, where are you, Murray? Yeah. Oh. 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 I just want to say that we do tours here, as you know, and uh, we go, our, we take them from the cars, we take them all around, we explain everything to them, we come around here and we explain. We, we actually have inculcated his book, and we now regurgitate it to everybody who comes in. I kid you not. And one of the things that we do is we say, this room, you know, we do here, this is da da da, this is here. We will be able to say now, welcome to the Charlotte White Room. I think that is so significant. Every tour that we go, every person who comes, and they come here from all over the world. I was just, for the board, I was trying to find out exactly who came here. Every province in Canada has been represented here this summer, including Nunavut. Every country in Europe has been here. I kid you not, you would not believe how many people all over the United States, from one end of the United States to the other, have been here this summer. So um, it was really um, wonderful that when they come next year, we will bring them to the Charlotte White Room. <laughs> so uh, thank you all for coming, and we do have we do have some refreshments out there. Oh, Charlotte, did you like <laughs> Charlotte is never at a loss for words. Nor am I. I don't think I've ever been lost for words. <laughs> I remember, oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember how I got involved in Hank Snow. We went to Somerville for the first Hank Snow tribute, which was just music. And the next year, we were going to have it in Liverpool, but it could not be arranged. So we went to Caledonia. I went with my husband in our motorhome. And we came through the gates in the motorhome, and the poor souls, and I don't even remember who, it were, who they were, they were working on the gate. And they didn't have a clue about a motorhome. So, me and my big mouth, I said, would you like for me to help you? Okay, so how many years later? That's, that's how I got my, when I put my big mouth, foot in my big mouth. But I will say, I've enjoyed every minute of it. And if the good Lord wasn't make me older every year, <laughs> I would be doing it for a lot longer. But right now, I told them at the last meeting, I wouldn't be doing volunteers next year. Jack is not well, and he needs my full-time attention. So, <clears throat> the people that said, Charlotte, when you give up volunteer, getting volunteers, I'm not going to give up too. I just hope they don't, because we need volunteers to keep the tribute going. And I can't, <laughs> words can't express what I feel today. I knew something was going on, <laughs> but all I expected was our board of directors to say hello and thank you or whatever. I had no idea it was going to be. <laughs> All of these people, most of them I haven't even seen yet. Some of them I can't see except for their eyes. So anyway, I see a lot of my volunteers who've always said yes to me, and I thank them very much.
Thank you. Wow. Gosh. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for coming. Really appreciate it. I know Charlotte does for sure. And we have tea and coffee and some sweets and all kinds of stuff out there. So let's mingle and we'll mingle with Charlotte out there. Well, we won't mingle with her, but we'll have her out there. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so yeah, thanks so much, folks.